Potassium-sparing diuretics. Potassium-sparing diuretics act on the distal tubule in the kidneys to promote sodium and water excretion and potassium retention. That's why they are called potassium-sparing. Potassium-sparing diuretics are weak diuretics and antihypertensives. They are usually taken with thiazida diuretics to reduce potassium loss. The most common potassium-sparing diuretic is spironolactone. Nursing interventions. The primary concern with taking potassium-sparing diuretics is hyperkalemia, or potassium level of more than 5 milliequivalents per liter. Therefore, they should be used with caution in patients who have kidney disease, who are hyperkalemic, or on ACE inhibitors because ACE inhibitors can also cause hyperkalemia. Educate patients to avoid potassium supplements and salt substitutes which contains potassium. Monitor for signs and symptoms of hyperkalemia such as nausea, diarrhea, abdominal cramps, and tall peaked T wave on EKG. Other interventions include monitoring for orthostatic hypotension, dehydration, urine output, and initiate fall precautions.